what's going on guys and welcome back to my youtube channel let's just acknowledge my headband it's a new look for me i started wearing this like the beginning of the week and it's been my everyday look i've worn it every single day i think i've grown emotionally attached to it like I said, I've been a little bit of a hot mess express. Firstly, because I have no eyelashes, so I'm feeling a little bit, you know, no eyelashes. So my eyelash lady is taking a little bit of a break. I will be getting them done in six days, so six more days of just not having any eyelashes. And I'm trying to keep my hair a little bit healthy as I'm trying not to tie it up so much. So headband it is because I want to keep the hair out of the face so we can keep the skin good. I obviously have nothing on my face right now but sometime last week my skin wasn't doing too good either so anyways the beauty side of things have been a little bit of a mess but I will be getting all my appointments done before I head off to Malaysia and Singapore but um welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I just vlog little bits and pieces here but basically something super exciting happened. We finally got the keys to our new house. It's not fully done yet. There's still lighting that needs to get put in. A um, couple landscaping stuff. Painting needs to be done and of course my dream wardrobe still needs to be made and of course we also still need to go buy some furniture. So went to the house, checked everything out, signed off on everything and then um, yeah headed off to go look at some stuff that we still need to buy. So yeah like furniture, lighting and a bunch of other stuff so we decided to get like a new fridge and all that kind of stuff so super exciting stuff but very very tiring so i basically spent the last two days doing that and it's yeah it's taken a little bit away from my regular routine just you know driving around and going to all these places and stuff like that i haven't really been able to get in my five consistent meals i've kind of dropped it down to four so my nutrition is a little bit all over the place i haven't really been like overeating or whatever per se if anything it's just been a little bit inconsistent but um weight's going well really just kind of maintaining pretty well where we currently are at um, so that's a little bit of like a nutritional update, but I just wanted to tell you that because today is Christmas Eve and I will be showing you all the little goodies that we'll be having later on for Christmas. And I just wanted to, I guess, come on here and let you guys know that I'm a perfectly normal person and I will be going ahead and enjoying free meals or like free eating, not tracking a single macro for today and tomorrow so christmas eve and christmas day just enjoying the time with like family my mom is throwing like a little party thingy thingy tonight so yeah we'll be doing a bunch of stuff so i guess this video will come out like a little bit too late so you can't really apply it but you can always apply it to next year so next year if you are going to be struggling with feeling guilty and just all that kind of stuff related to the festive season just allow yourself to enjoy this time be good for all the days that you can. So basically every single week, day this week, I have trained and stuck to my nutrition as much as I can. And so I really do deserve this next two days off and you do too. So that's all I have to say on that. We do have a whole podcast on it. So link in the description to the whole podcast about me and Jeremy talking just about how to navigate through this festive season. If you guys want me to talk more about it on the channel, I guess leave it in the comments and I'll think about it. Um, yeah, today's vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place, but just a little bit of snippets of my life that I wanted to share. So enjoy.
today. So yesterday we had a big Christmas Eve party and yeah, I was not feeling well. I haven't been feeling well all day. I like pushed myself to still go to the gym. And honestly, I had a really good workout still, even though I wasn't feeling well. And then I got home and I was feeling pretty shitty. I had a nap and then somewhat felt better. In case you guys don't know this about me, I don't take medication because it literally kills your gut. Like I don't take Panadol, like I don't take anything. Like I don't take any of that. Just pharmaceuticals and me is a no. So yeah, I survived COVID without any medication. I will be fine through whatever I have right now without any medication. Sure, I'll probably feel like real shit for a couple of days. But I do find that like I, I recover a little bit sooner than other people who do take medication. Like they take medication, they feel fine, but they're actually not fine, they're still sick. And then um they're just sick for longer. So anyways, um yeah, I'm just not feeling well, hence I'm laying in bed. So yeah, yesterday was fun. Um just being a little bit normal, eating normally, catching up with like family friends and all that kind of stuff. Um, I was exhausted though. I think I went to bed at like 11. I know it's not very late for most people, but it's really late for me because I'm a grandma, not even. My parents have friends who are like 70 and they like stay up way later than me. They drink more than me. I literally didn't drink. So this is my tip or like what I did to kind of get through this festive season. Alcohol is being kept at zero because that really messes me up. Plus I wasn't feeling well anyways. Plus the calories, water retention from it, reduces your sleep quality, muscle recovery, yada yada. I don't do alcohol. On occasion I do, obviously you guys probably would have, you follow me on Instagram, you know, like I do drink, but um, I chose not to this festive season, even though I'm having my free meals and being a little bit more free with things, um, definitely drew some lines and alcohol was the lines, I did not have any alcohol. So pro tip, if you want to kind of still stay somewhat on track and you want to enjoy some food, get rid of the alcohol. You don't need it. Unless you're partying, then yeah. But if you're having nice family time at home, there really is no need to have alcohol. So yeah, we dumped the alcohol. There's no alcohol. See, so yeah, I enjoyed food. Again, because I was sick, I was just not very hungry. So I don't think I put on a lot of scale weight. But I'm feeling like somewhat flat. So like my calories are somewhat... I would say similar on a day to day, but the fats are like definitely way higher. I'm eating a little bit less carbs, a little bit less protein than usual, still more than the minimum required for my body. So I'm always like at least hitting that minimum threshold of protein that I do need for my body. But I think I only had like three meals. And the couple of days before that, like I said, I only had four meals because I've just been, it's been really bad with eating my five meals a day. Just. And now since it's, you know, Christmas weekend, I've just only been eating three meals just because I know dinner will be very, very calorically dense. And yeah, anyways, I had four intentions to train today. The plan was always to, I already had a rest day earlier on in the week. So the plan was always to train yesterday and today. So yesterday I did train. Today I was just feeling even more shit because I was tired, didn't sleep at my regular time. I was just exhausted. Maybe also just like a little bit socially exhausted sometimes when I just like have too much social interaction. I'm just like really tired. I don't know if anyone can relate. Oh my god, my headband is falling out of my head. Anyways, yeah, too much social reac interaction. I was just exhausted. I'm exhausted. And obviously I'm sick. So this morning, had a bowl of oats. It was beautiful. Some blueberries and some leftover sourdough discard orange cake. <laughs> that my mom made yesterday so somewhat of a nutritious breakfast i guess i don't know and then i uh, we went to church went to go see jeremy's parents i had um just regular lunch and yeah so now i'm just laying in bed i had a nap i'm just like really tired so and i'm not feeling too good so i didn't train today and that's all i came here to tell you that i am sick and i did not train so yeah that's what's been happening tonight we have another christmas dinner last christmas dinner with jeremy's parents at his house his or his parents house so we'll be having that i think we'll be back onto a routine tomorrow so i'm really hoping i'll feel better by tomorrow but I'm just spending the day just chilling in bed it's the best way to spend christmas like just i don't want to do too much <sighs> doing too much just it's kind of draining and i'm just like 
<sighs> I just need to rest because again, like I said, I don't take medication. So resting is the only way my body gets to recover. So I really hope by tomorrow I'll be back to full health and training. For now, I'm going to continue laying in bed, watch a little bit of YouTube videos, and then I'll get ready to head over to the house. Mm. Having some post-workout grapes. I had my post-workout meal. I should have filmed it, but um, I'm back on eating kangaroos. So I had some kangaroo sausages, jasmine rice, and pickled veg for my post-workout meal. I trained. Um, where did I train today? Oh yeah, I trained back today. I was back. I'm back training again. Obviously, so yesterday I did shoulders. Today I did back. I'm still a little bit sick, you guys, but like I'm not sick enough to not train. I'm just like congested. I don't really have a fever or anything. So yeah, obviously I've still been training. Still kind of taking it easy, but I've been feeling pretty good during my training sessions. And um, it's been sleeping a lot to try and recover. But apart from that, um, everything's going good. Um, my weight has maintained pretty well through the festive season. So it's a good sign that my metabolism is back to normal it's been probably 20 weeks now post comp so my body is finally like fully recovered from the prep which is great i have probably about another 13 to 14 weeks of off season left so i'm gonna make full use out of it full use in the sense of training hard eating a good nutritious food but also just still enjoying a little bit of time i am flying off in a week and a half to go to KL and Singapore. It's a family trip and me and Jeremy will be doing like a little Chinese wedding dinner kind of a situation. Going to go visit like my grandparents, my cousins. It's just gonna be a big family reunion time. And I think this, these things are just so important when it comes to an athlete going through the off season. It's part of a good productive off season, I feel. Getting your mind and soul in the right spot i am very very anxious about how the food situation is going to go there so i will be obviously taking you guys along vlogging the whole journey and try my best to hang on to my current levels of body fat because i'm really happy with where i'm right now took a couple of photos at the gym while training today i'm gonna pop them up right here i'm really happy with how everything is and um how i'm looking at this body weight i'm certainly not super light not like my lightest i'm like five kilos up from my last stage weight so definitely past that 10 percent threshold of body fat gain or body weight gain but i'm just really happy with where the conditioning is at the moment yes I'm a little bit soft and whatever but i'm happy i'm recovering well and best of all my leptin and ghrelin levels are great so I haven't been insanely hungry, hungry. I haven't been insanely food focused. Then this is where I want to be exactly. And I think it's made it so much easier to choose good healthy food options and be able to still enjoy a lot of social time. And even when I'm not very accurately counting macros, my body tells me when I've had enough to eat. And that is the place where you definitely, definitely want to be. And that's how you know you're fully recovered from a competition prep. So that's where I am at right now. I do have, well, I filmed actually two vlogs before this one. I'm not sure which one is gonna go up first or whether I should upload this one first or the other one, but I think I will wait for Ethan to send me back the one we filmed before this. So I'll be uploading that and then uploading this one. And then we've got another one coming up. So I'm keeping up the content. I know it's a little bit slow. I'm so sorry, but I have, so much planned and like yeah i'm gonna try and film a lot whilst i'm overseas for you guys as well bring you along my journey obviously and i know now also with olympia being over and whatnot um sometimes people might want to take a little bit of a break from filming so you guys still need to watch some fitness content so i hope that i'll continue to provide that for you like i said i know a lot of professional athletes all film during the you know prep time but I like to share more than that with you guys because it's not just the prep that gets you there. It's a good, healthy off season. Healthy in the sense that like healthy both physically and mentally, you know, you obviously want to eat healthy foods and train and whatnot, like that's a given, but also just being very healthy mentally and having a good time, making good memories and just 
living a good life to make this so sustainable. Like some people are just going super, super hardcore and whatnot. And obviously they're way stricter than me, but I'm like, girl, we've been doing this for like, what, two years? <laughs> like it's easy to be so pedantic and everything when you're like so new to it. But that's how a lot of people burn out. And that's never a place where I want to be. I love this lifestyle so much. I love training. I love literally every single thing that I eat. I love this. I love competing. And I think the main reason why I'm able to like, you know, be in this for so long is because I think everything I do is very sustainable. So, you know, it's highly debatable, like how strict you need and want to be. But this is just the way that I'm deciding to go ahead with it because I want to be continuing to do this with as much love and passion for as long as I can. You know, obviously I could be way stricter and I if I did, if I just blocked out every social event, don't see my family and just hermit, eat my same boring foods, never go out and never party and just never do anything, I don't know if I will still love doing this, you know, because this is a lifestyle, it's part of my life. I have, you know, days and moments obviously that I'm like super super strict but I don't feel like it takes away from my life like I enjoy my routine being strict and eating my good high quality foods that brings me joy that makes me happy makes me feel good inside and out and that's what I preach to all my clients it's like this is to be a whole lifestyle change it shouldn't feel like a sacrifice or like a punishment it should just be how you will choose to live from now on and that's why I want to make my off season as sustainable as possible whilst really maximizing it like I am so focused and so determined to do well next year as a pro and accomplish everything I set out my heart to and um, more you know I just want next year to be a great amazing year and I'm working really hard every every day for it and this is just the way I choose to do it. And that's how I'm sharing it with you guys. And yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you'll be able to take something out of this. And you know, and if you're feeling bad or guilty that you're not the perfect athlete over this Christmas season and all that, that, you know, it's going to be fine because a couple of days, it's, it's not going to set you back that far as long as, you know, the next day you jump back on and it might even keep you more refreshed more motivated and just be able to do the journey for longer. It's all about sustainability. So hopefully you found a little bit of value in today's vlog. It's kind of just like all over the place. But like I said, I already filmed two high quality training videos for you guys. So hopefully we'll balance out my just talking rambling videos with like my high quality training videos that I filmed with Ethan and um, yeah, more travel vlogs to come soon. So hopefully you guys enjoy that too. And um, I'm going to end today's vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one.